Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I talk about the eClap, that's a clap synthesizer from Bitwig. So yeah, let's get started. So this is the eClap uh, synthesizer device and this is just um, a noise oscillator with uh, some additional, well not only a noise, yeah, it's a noise oscillator with some additional um, parameters. So let's get over it. Uh, or let's do the overview <laughs> and get over it. Um, so this is the on off. Here are the different presets. So there are a lot of different claps over here. The title, then the remote controls, the um, modulation section. And then here is the um, noise section or noise oscillator. And I put here two notes in a clip. And decay is nothing more than the duration, how long a note is. For example, then you have a repeat a time knob. And this is like a delay maybe. You can hear if you put that on really on uh, 31 milliseconds. Sekunde. Put the decay a little bit slower so you can hear it very clearly. And maybe I make that a little bit louder over here. So you hear that even better. Even if I'm talking, I won't stop talking. Okay, that's enough re repetition. <laughs> then there's a duration. It's like the um, how many delays or how many repeats. It doesn't sound like a clap, but you could use it for another effect, for example, with a little bit um, delay and some reverb and everything. Could be very nice. Then there's a width parameter for stereo width, like mono and stereo. There is a little clap back. So then there's a color with a low pass filter frequency. filter, a low pass or a high cut and the Q filter to make it more resonant like we all know this one if you use this one you could resonate something over here or de-emphasize attenuate it a little bit. I don't know if you can attenuate it. No, you, you just can I'm not really sure, but here you can you can um, set the Q parameter for your um, EQ curve for your low pass filter over here. Then you have the FX container where you can put in some effects and the velocity sensitivity when you want to have some claps louder or lizer, uh, louder or lizer. <laughs> louder, louder or less loud. And uh, here, here's the output of volume. So, and um, with the with the clap, this sometimes it, it sounds in its basic variation a little bit weak, but um, you could uh, just uh, boost it a little bit with a distortion device, for example, or a hard clipper or something, or clipping like uh, something. And if you just uh, use it like that, right? Just load the default preset, put the distortion back. And now I add some distortion.
for example, like that. There may be some reverb and stuff, small reverb, for example. Still too much. And the drive is very heavy, so. Like that. Not so much. More like uh, that over here. Yeah, you could you could spend a lot of time just designing um, the clap, but uh, using effects uh, to the clap makes it uh, less weak, more um, punchy, more present in your mix. Um, what you like, what you need, for example, and maybe you just use a reverb or convolution reverb or something in there and if you want to have very loud claps what you normally don't want to have so many times but um, uh, be always sure you put then um, peak limiter over here like uh, the peak limiter this one the soft clipping um, device so that it doesn't clip uh, uh, early in your mix so that's everything about the um, e-clap synthesizer and I hope you liked it. And if yes, I would ask to ask uh, ki you kindly to do f the following, please. Because that helps the channel to grow a little bit. And um, even more, I'm interested to get some feedback from you. Um, it's always nice to get feed feedback from you guys. Um, and uh, maybe you have some nice tips and tricks, uh, what, you, what you want to put in the comments. Or maybe you have some questions about uh, this device or other devices. Maybe you can't find on the channel. Just uh, leave a question, leave a comment over here. And yeah, so I hope I see you soon again in the one of the next videos. Stay healthy. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.